up, doll collectors and gift givers? Here is a My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide, where we take a look at what's on the shelves so you can decide if it's a buy or a pass. Today we are taking a look at a few items created by Mattel. From Barbie Big City Big Dreams, a new animated feature coming to Netflix where Barbie Roberts meets Barbie Roberts. This three doll combo pack features a few of the other characters, Daisy, Teresa, and Rafa. I bought this at Target for $29.99. That is about the same as buying three Barbie fashionistas. The box is pretty simple. We can see all three characters. It says Barbie on the side. On the back, there is an illustration of the movie, but there really isn't a lot of information about it included. Oh, I love reading the back of doll boxes. Let's get these dolls out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, Rafa comes wearing pink glasses. They are kind of fragile. Mine were a little bent getting them out of the box. I was able to bend them back into shape but I would suggest handling them with care. He has hazel eyes, brown molded hair, it's lighter brown on top. He wears a purple and white t-shirt. The edges are all hemmed. The pattern continues around to the back where it velcros. He wears dark faux denim pants. The details are printed and they velcro in the back. And he wears red shoes that remind me of Converse. The head can move from side to side. Can you look up and down? No. At the shoulder, the arm goes out to the side. It can go forward. So we can swing around pretty good here and we've got a nice range of motion. The leg goes forward and back and out to the side just a little. Teresa is on a petite Barbie body. She has brown hair that is layered a little at the bottom, large brown eyes, pink lipstick. She wears a green short sleeve top with elastic around the neckline. It opens and closes with Velcro in the back. Personally, I would have liked to have seen the top without the elastic to reduce bulk. She wears a shiny pink patent leather like skirt with white stars that also Velcros in the back and chunky white shoes. Next to her in the box was a white tote bag with a piano printed on the front. And you can actually put stuff inside. Daisy is a curvy Barbie with large blue eyes, pink lipstick, pink hair. I do notice some shedding. She wears an oversized t-shirt dress with printed images that look like a glitter guitar and music note patches that look like they have sequins. The back is a solid color. Personally, I would have loved to have seen some kind of foiling on the front so the shirt had a little sparkle. And I would have liked to have seen this little dotted print continue around to the other side. She has those curvy green boots we all know so well. I do think they are a cute little shoe that can be easily added to most outfits. I would just like to see a little more variety for our curvy and tall Barbies. She has the basic five points of articulation. The head can pivot all the way around. At the shoulder, the arm can go out to the side, forward and back. At the hip, the leg can go out to the side, forward and back. And she comes with a record Barbie purse. I like this. Perfect for the doll who's a Barbie fan. We've seen a lot of people on Instagram rebodying this guy. He is a good match for the BMR 1959 doll with green hair. So you know what that means. Off with their heads. I place the dolls in a plastic bag, then place them in hot water until the head is soft enough to be removed. Then placed onto the new body, have a little wardrobe change, and he is now made to move. In my perfect doll world, all dolls would be made to move. Just imagine if all of these dolls were sold separately for like $14.99 on a made to move body. Kind of like this. Just an idea. For $19.99,
This is the Barbie Big City Big Dreams Barbie Malibu Roberts doll and dressing room playset. Where we get another Malibu in a new outfit. So we already got the single Malibu doll for $9.99. And in this playset, we get another one. Personally, I would have liked to have seen this playset without the doll and maybe just the fashion because the dolls are pretty much interchangeable. Well, this one has eyes that have kind of like a satin finish and this one is matte. This playset includes a doll with the basic five points of articulation. She has full rotation at the neck, can move at the shoulder out to the side, forward and back, and can move at the hip forward and back and out to the side just a little. She wears a blue polka dot dress with elastic around the collar, no opening in the back, a pink plastic belt, white sneakers. She holds a small orange hairbrush. The vanity is kind of tall. It looks designed for the doll to stand. There's a purple mirror with faux lights. It would have been so cool if those actually lit up. There's a little shelf and a sticker underneath showing brushes, nail polish, and a plant. It comes with a white makeup palette that can close. A little mirror inside would have been cool. A blue paintbrush. Well, I guess it's a makeup brush here. A pink blow dryer. Water bottle. A purple cosmetic case. Two pictures printed onto paperboard that we can slide into the frame of the mirror. Aw, that's kind of cute. The counter on the vanity is white. It has pink faux drawers and light brown legs. I think the cosmetic case is pretty cute and I like the little compact. However, I would have liked to have seen a few more details added there. Like a mirror. Let's see if we can just cut a little piece of foil tape to use as a mirror. But you know what? All these little lines here are going to make little lines on my mirror. So the mirror actually has to go on this side. Then we could use more colored crafting tape to go from this to this. Oh boy, couldn't you just see this in an old school Barbie color palette like pink, black, and white? For $19.99, here is Barbie Big City Big Dreams Barbie Brooklyn Roberts doll and music studio playset. That's how it's listed at Target. We get another Brooklyn because we already have the single doll and now we have the playset doll. This doll comes with a yellow headset, wears a purple and black jersey-like shirt. It's not made out of a jersey material, it just looks like a sports jersey. It has the number 21 on the front. It has a solid color on the back and it velcros. She has white shoes wears a silver colored bracelet. Her hair is styled into braids and wears a top knot with painted edges. She comes with a keyboard stand. It's a rich pink with music notes. It has a little wood grain texture on top. The legs are a silver colored plastic. We have a keyboard with printed details, two blue speakers. I would have loved to have seen some painted details on those speakers a purple tablet with music on it. She has a silver colored bag with pink sunglasses. The bag does not open. And a green water bottle. Just like the previous playset, I would have loved to have seen this without the doll and just the fashion at a reduced price. But that's just my opinion. And a few more painted details would have been great. But until then, we can use a little craft paint to go from this to this. Adding a little paint really brings out those details. For $9.99 each, we picked up these fashion packs, one with a dance theme and the other is music. Now we could dress up these dolls or we could switch them out for dolls with a little more articulation. This Barbie is pretty much the same as this one in the face, so you could just use this one instead of this one if you like. But I like the look of fashionista number 155, so I'm going to throw her on that made-to-move body. And these two look like a good match. Yeah! Now we have two models to try on the clothes. The music fashion pack comes with a violin, 
a pink floral dress that stops just above the knee. She wears a pink and silver necklace, a silver bracelet, has teal colored high heels, and comes with sheet music. The dance outfit comes with a plastic pink headband, a lavender leotard that velcros in the back, a tulle wrap skirt with an elastic waistband and a little bow on the side, plastic leg warmers and ballet shoes, a water bottle, a pink bag with the letter B on it, and a small purple glitter bag. Personally, I would have liked to have seen this bag subbed for maybe a stereo. That way we wouldn't have ended up with two bags. But maybe there is something in the storyline that I don't know, and that could be the reason why this bag is included. Overall, I think the flower dress is kind of cute, and I love that lavender leotard. We could even use it as a bathing suit. Barbie's signature honors Naomi Osaka with this Barbie Role Models doll priced at $29.99. Her first and last name is printed on the side of the box. On the back, we can see a picture of the athlete, and on the side it says, don't compare yourself to anyone because the path that you're on is yours and yours only. Naomi Osaka. I love that quote. I say something similar to that all the time. I've mentioned it in like my YouTube lives, but she says it totally better. And at the bottom it says, Trained by her father at an early age, Naomi Osaka began her professional tennis career in 2013. Rising through the ranks by defeating top-ranked players with her powerful forehand and 201 kilometers per hour serves. By 2016, Osaka was voted Newcomer of the Year. Qualifying to play in major tennis tournaments around the world and compete for her first world title. In 2018, she slammed into the history books, becoming the first Japanese player to win a major title in a singles match. Osaka returned in 2019 to win another major title, propelling her rank as the number one tennis player in the world. On and off the court, Naomi has used her voice and her platform to speak out and highlight issues surrounding human rights and racial injustice. Cool and confident, Naomi Osaka is a powerful athlete and champion for change. She comes with a doll stand, a certificate of authenticity, letting us know this doll is black label, she is on a made-to-move body, has two-tone brown curly hair, pulled up into a ponytail, then I put another loose rubber band around it to just help it lay down a little. She wears a white Nike visor, her ears are pierced, it looks like she's wearing pearls, they are removable, however on my doll it looks like they missed the earlobe and gave her an ear canal. She has brown eyes with a couple of beauty marks. Her tennis outfit is pretty cute in my opinion. She has a colorful top with a little bit of mesh on the sides and over the shoulder. It continues onto the back and then there's a little cutout. There's a white pleated skirt sewn to the waist. It does have raw edges and a slit on the side and it's shorts underneath the skirt. The outfit is all one piece and it velcros in the back. She wears mint green or light teal Nike shoes. The bottom of the shoe is kind of cool in my opinion. She has a black plastic sweatband on one wrist. I think her tennis racket is kind of cool looking. It's blue, white, and red. And she has a yellow tennis ball. I like the Nike accessories and the fact that she's on a made-to-move body. Now let's throw in a little something extra. Here is the Barbie Extra Doll and Vanity Playset with exclusive doll, pet puppy, vanity, and 45 plus pieces. Priced at $59, we bought this at Walmart.com. The box is pretty large. There's an illustration of the exclusive doll on the side. On the back of the box, there are pictures showcasing this item's features, like storage and a mirror that lights up. Let's get all this out of the box. What is this? A giant faux hairbrush? Some assembly is required. We have to put together the clothing rack. And this goes... Let's check the instructions. 
Okay, this goes right here, and then this piece goes right, uh, right there, and then it can lock into that right there. So here is the vanity. It has a pretty decent mirror. Hello, everyone. I really like that the mirror is functional. It even comes on when you press the top. Look at that pink flashing lights, and then they just stay, so that's pretty cool. The Barbie extra sign at the top is a cute touch. I would have loved it if the letters at the top were foiled, just like the real logo. The vanity is pretty large. It's pink, it has some clear sections. It measures a little over 15 inches long and is four inches wide. It has lots of little spaces for storage, like this case in front of the mirror. It has a clear top and then we can see little compartments inside it where we can put some of the accessories like this star necklace. It's orange. This green bracelet. Let's put that right there. A neon yellow love necklace, a purple scrunchie, and a bottle of perfume. On the side, there's a little cabinet. It does open where we can store the included blow dryer. This one is a little different than the one that comes with the Barbie Big City Big Dreams playset. There is storage underneath. Looks like a good place for this included purse. On the other side, there's another storage unit. This one has three shelves inside. There are images on the front that look like stickers and the handle is shaped like a makeup brush. There is a small table out to the side and it is supported with what looks like a giant hairbrush. There are three little cloud hooks and it can move around to the side. There's a little styling head or mannequin head on the table where we can place glasses and necklaces. There's a giant perfume bottle shelf where we can place more accessories. Right next to it, there's a giant tube of sunblock with SPF 59, the 59 for Barbie. You know, the year Barbie was created. Right above it, there's a green stereo that's locked into place, some faux lashes that is also stationary. On the other side, there's a giant cosmetic product that says 70% fierce, 30% sparkle, 100% me. I guess this is a makeup palette. Then there is a compact on top that also has storage inside where we can place this lipstick holder. There are three rows of lipsticks and they are connected together. There's a compact with a printed mirror and there is a little cloud embellishment on the other side. It does close. There's a plastic makeup puff, a little black tube of lipstick that can actually open. I would have loved to have seen these in different colors and a lipstick holder that could hold them. There's a star mirror that actually has a little mirror on it. That is cute. This is a gummy bear cell phone holder. We can remove the cell phone and it's one of those regular Barbie Playline cell phones. But look, the wallpaper is clouds. That's cute. There is a giant tube of lipstick that is for little dog treats for the included pup wearing a headband. Just gotta push on the little bone. Ah, oh, and the treats come out. There is a long green hair extension on a hair clip that says Fierce. It's held in place with a rubber band. We can store that over here. Sunglasses with white painted frames. A lip purse and then a pink purse with a yellow star. I know I have this purse from another fashion pack. Black strappy heels. These are cute, they're classic. You can't go wrong with a good black shoe a purple bear brush. There's a white salon chair that looks like it has a pink ice cream sandwich in the back. The bottom is silver. The footrest can move. There's a purple clothing rack that says Barbie Extra at the top. And there's a place to store shoes down below. We get a purple and black animal print shirt on a neon yellow hanger, a blue ruffle top with frayed edges, gold ribbon straps, 
and it comes on a pink Barbie extra hanger. Velcros in the back. We have three more hangers in orange, blue, and lavender. Personally, I would have liked to have seen the hangers without the Barbie Extra logo because we lose some of the function of the hanger. And the sign takes up a good portion of the clothing rack, so we lose some space there as well. Unless you want to hang clothes on the sign. We have a green headband with two blue pigtails attached with rubber bands so the dolls can try out some different hair colors without having to commit. The included doll has long purple hair with a slight wave to it. She has bright green eyes, blue eyeshadow, long painted lashes, and a soft lip color. She has big silver hoops that were not designed to come out easily. She wears a green fuzzy coat. I think this is a cute piece. It is lined on the inside. So that's really cool. I think we can get some really good use out of it. Underneath, she wears a black and white checkered two-piece outfit. The top has ruffle sleeves and the bottoms have an elastic waistband, while the top velcros in the back. And she finishes her look with some strappy purple heels. This doll is articulated with rotation at the neck. She can move at the shoulder, out to the side, forward and back, move at the elbow. We got some decent rotation there and move at the wrist. That can also rotate. She can move at the hip and bend at the knee. There's definitely a lot going on here. There are a lot of different colors, which is what we expect from Barbie Extra. However, the oversized cosmetics were a little unexpected for me. And I would have liked to have been able to use the whole clothing rack, but the lights are definitely a fun detail. A while back, we made our own vanity in our Barbie Extra room, which after seeing the playset may appear to be a little underdressed. It's just a simple little white shelf table with a printed mirror and a stool. Yeah, printed mirror. I should totally lose points for that. And we do have a small clothing rack. I'm going to replace our paperclip hangers with the pink hangers from the Barbie fashion packs and hang less bulky items. Although this wall does move, we just have to open it up a little more. So I cut a new piece for the floor that will allow us to have a larger area, then cover it with the same wood. Uh-oh, my colors don't match, but it's all I got. So we're gonna have to use it anyway. To stop the wall from sliding over, I'm gonna add some baseboards onto the edge, which is just a half inch strip of foam board. Yeah, that's much better. And now we have a new floor extension that helps the wall to stay open. I really want to remove the vanity, but I know it's going to rip the paper. Urgh. Let's do it anyway. Eh, uh, that wasn't terrible. I also removed the printed mirror, cover the wall with another printable. Ah, my purple printed out a slightly different color. We're having problems matching colors today. We quickly made a printable to match the rest of the room. It has a cover with faux drawers, a template, and we printed the plain gray color as well. Cut out the template, glue it onto recycled paperboard, cut it out, fold on the lines to construct a box. It's okay if the edges tear a little. We're gonna cover it anyway. Cut out the front cover and glue it on. Use the solid gray to finish it up. Use leftover paperboard to make a few supports. And I'm using map pens for knobs. Then glue the vanity directly onto the wall. And I added the knobs to the other furniture as well. Take a cosmetic mirror from the dollar store, glue it onto the wall, recycle the old vanity to make small shelves to go on the sides of the mirror where we can display some of our Toya and Bella makeup products. Cut out the Barbie Extra sign from our doll box and place it on the wall above the vanity. Cut out a few printables 
to add posters and pictures to the wall. And while we're here, let's cut out another frame and glue it onto foam board. Cut out the center, paint the edge, then glue it onto the wall to make it 3D. Let's switch out this fuzzy pillow and replace it with one that is black and white so we can add a small rug to the floor and cover up the fact that the floor doesn't match. I added a fluffy blanket to the bottom of the bed to spruce up our Barbie extra room where we could have fun incorporating a few of the extra items. Yep, I totally took the mirror. Let us know in the comments down below if any of these items are a buy or a pass. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few items from Mattel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Yeah.